Wonder of the age, Saeed Nursi was born in the village of Nurs, in the eastern Turkish province of Bitlis. Of Kurdish origin, his parents were devout Muslims who led a simple and pious lifestyle. Saeed began his education at home and learned the basics of Islam from his devout mother, who inspired him to take a keen interest in religious matters. He became attracted to Sufism, Islamic mysticism, during his early years and the life and teachings of the famous Abd al-Qadir al-Jilani, the influential founder of the Qadiriya Sufi order, fascinated him the most. Indeed, his spiritual link and attachment to Shaykh al-Jilani grew stronger by the day, as he claimed to have been guided by this venerable Sufi Shaykh during some of the most testing and turbulent periods of his life. After obtaining a diploma in Islamic sciences at the age of 14, he considered abandoning formal education for good. Thereafter, however, he claimed to have been visited by the Prophet Muhammad in the form of a dream and this prompted him to resume his studies. He mastered traditional Islamic sciences under the guidance of prominent teachers like Sheikh Mehmed Kalali and Sheikh Mehmed Amin Effendi. After qualifying as an Islamic scholar, he moved to nearby Sirt where Sheikh Fedallah Effendi, a notable local scholar, bestowed the title of Bediu Zaman on him on account of his vast learning and erudition. At the time when Sayyid was busy pursuing his studies, the Ottoman state was passing through a period of considerable political uncertainty and cultural confusion. Once a great Islamic superpower, the Ottoman state now faced imminent political and economic collapse in the face of Russian and subsequently Anglo-French assault on its territories. Although Sultan Abd al-Hamid II tried to stop the rot, his efforts proved futile as mass discontent continued to spread across the country. This gave rise to the Young Turks movement which, in turn, led to the removal of the Sultan from the Ottoman throne. The revolution of 1908 may have brought much needed relief to the masses, but the Young Turks also failed to consolidate their grip on power. Amidst the prevailing chaos, Mustafa Kemal emerged to save his country from European encroachment. The victory of 1922 confirmed his position as the founder and undisputed ruler of the new Turkish Republic. During this period of considerable political uncertainty, social upheaval and economic hardship, Sayyid openly supported the reformists because he wanted his people's socio-economic condition to change for the better. Even so, he opposed the Young Turks' efforts to reconcile Islamic political theory with European constitutionalism. Furthermore, he considered their attempts to compartmentalize education into three separate categories, namely religious mystical, Sufi, and secular, to be both flawed and inconsistent from an Islamic perspective. During this period, he became actively involved in the socio-political affairs of the state, and even participated in the war against the Russians on the Caucasian front. Captured by the Russians, he spent two years as a prisoner of war in Russia. He managed to escape in 1918 and returned to Istanbul via Vienna. His spiritual retreat near the tomb of Abu Ayyub profoundly changed his outlook on life. He then carried out a detailed study of the Quran, the Disclosure of the Unseen, of Abd al-Qadir al-Jalani, and the Maktubat, Epistles, of Imam Rabbani, Sheikh Ahmad Sirhindi. As a result, he claimed to have attained the height of Islamic spirituality, as Old Sa'id became transformed into New Sa'id. Mustafa Kemal personally invited him to Ankara, the capital of the new Turkish Republic, in order to officially recognize his contribution to the Turkish War of Independence. Short visit to Ankara had confirmed his worst fears. The new Turkish rulers were no better than their predecessors. By abolishing the caliphate, banning the traditional Turkish attire, replacing the Hijri calendar with the Gregorian one, and by overhauling the Turkish traditional educational system in favor of a secular Western model, Mustafa Kemal hoped to thoroughly undermine all major symbols of Turkey's Islamic past. But the ulama, Islamic scholars, and the Sufis led a rebellion against his reforms. He responded by brutally suppressing his opponents. Said became embroiled in this conflict even though he did not play a direct role in the insurrection. Turkish authorities became suspicious of all the prominent religious scholars and Sufis. He was forced to flee to western Anatolia. Here, he spent the next 25 years living in exile. By the time of his death at the age of 83, he had tens of thousands of followers across the country.